face reveal, guys. What do you think? As I explained in the last episode, Megalo is basically our custom game variant shenanigans. It tells the game how to run. You could do some pretty cool with it. And obviously to mess around with Megalo, you need a Megalo editor. With Halo Infinite being open world with big open spaces, you know what's gonna come with that? There's gonna be a battle royale game mode. But why wait when you can do it with Megalo editing yourself? So that's what I did. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is how I made the game. First up, I went in and I went to edit script and I specified a forge label, which I called hill center. And then I specified a widget in the top left corner of the screen. And then I went over to the game type code, which let me decompile it for you. And that's what the code looks like. Thank you for watching guys. Remember to smash scub and like. Say what? You need to have a look at what the code is. So we begin up the top in the top loop with these counters. These are global numbers and these essentially count how many players are alive, how many players are dead and how many total players there are in the game. These values are used for two things. One is for the widget where it displays how many alive players there are out of total players and it also assigns a score to the players, assigning the score to the players who are still alive to be that of the amount of players that are dead. From there, we go on to the timers for the ring. First, I declare a size that the ring's gonna start off as, as the first timer, timer zero. And then for timer one, timer one is basically just a, a cool down period until the ring actually starts to shrink and players actually start to take damage. So we got two timers that we set up here. One timer is basically a pre-warmer timer. This timer has to tick down to zero before the ring actually starts to shrink and players actually start to take damage. And then the other timer is basically set to calculate the actual width of the ring. And the next function, this basically handles the waypoint itself in motion. First, we set global number zero to equal the global timer zero, which calculates how large the cylinder is as it shrinks based on the time, which then we pass through as a variable into the shape as the radius. So that's, that's why it's shrinking. Then we also set the visibility of the shape so everyone can see it. We give it a little skull waypoint so people know where the center is. We set the waypoint priority to high so you can see it from wherever you're in the map and we also make sure it's actually visible. Then, lucky lucky last, onto the player damage stuff, which basically just allocates the amount of damage you take to your both your health and your shield. This is also where it tells the ring to actually start shrinking. As you can see here, I say if timer one is zero, which is that timer that we set up the start, which starts at 20 seconds. Once that 20 second timer counts down, that's when we start doing the shrinkage as well as calculating all the damage stuff for the players. But yeah, that's that's it. It's, it's actually really freaking simple. Anyhow, it's time for some gameplay, boys. Uh, let's get in there. Yeah, there's a banshee. That's an issue. For a long time. Oh! Ooh! Oh, here we go. I'm not the f***ing zone. I didn't know that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sh the ring's there! No! no. no. Uh, no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Boy! That was intense as f***. Where did the ghost come from? Do you from? know what time it is? Mm. Whoa! Ah! This community is very toxic. I'm a vulnerable soul. I often find myself feeling a little bit depressed. A little bit disappointed. And you guys just have to go in and rub it in. Don't you? Whoa! This was meant to be a creative supportive community. You guys are unsupportive and non-creative. All we got is a bunch of so who all comment the same thing. Ah. Oh, 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 my feet, ow. Roast me, oh, mate. I'm not gonna roast you. I'm gonna roast these guys instead. And I'm gonna roast them into oblivion. Throw them into the heart of the sun. Melt them like they're steel. Look at you guys getting roasted. Oh, ah, that's hot. On that note, it was absolutely amazing getting to share this with you. Thank you for watching. If you want to hit me up, add me on Xbox. Hit me up on Discord. There's a Halo Mods Discord. It's a good place if you want to get started. Down, down in the description, uh, click it. Because if you don't click it, it'll click you. Oh, that was hot, wasn't it?